It's day 16 of the partial government shutdown, and while there's no discernible movement on funding for a border wall, President Trump insists he does not need Congress to help him build one. He claims he can simply declare a national emergency to get the money. But KPIX 5 political reporter Melissa Kane tells us some California Congress members beg to differ. We can call a national emergency because of the security of our country, absolutely. No, we can do it. I haven't done it. I may do it. President Trump has said on multiple occasions he doesn't need Congress to fund his border wall. He can get the money by declaring a national emergency, and he repeated that claim today. I may declare a national emergency dependent on what's going to happen over the next few days. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi sat down with CBS Sunday Morning's Jane Pauley. The impression you get from the president that he would like to not only close government, build a wall, but also abolish Congress. So the only voice that mattered was his own. California Congressman Adam Schiff is the new chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, and he says the president cannot get a wall by declaring a national emergency. Harry Truman couldn't nationalize the steel industry during wartime. Uh, this president doesn't have the power to declare an emergency and, and build a multi-billion dollar wall on the border. So that's a non-starter. But a number of laws have been passed since Truman was president. And another congressional Democrat had a different take when asked if the president can declare a national emergency and have the military build the wall. Well, unfortunately, the short answer is yes. Um, there is a provision in law that says the president can declare an emergency. Uh, it's been done a number of times, but primarily it's been done to build facilities in Afghanistan and Iraq. Adam Smith is case, the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee. And in this case, I think the president and it would be wide open to a court challenge saying, where's the emergency? Uh, you have to establish that in order to do this. But beyond that, this would be a terrible use of Department of Defense dollars. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5. The National Park Service is taking an unprecedented step tonight to stay open during the shutdown. It's dipping into its savings from entrance fees. Park managers will now bring on more staff, presumably some who are on furlough. They will patrol the parks, haul trash, clean restrooms. The fee money is normally used for visitor services, not operations and maintenance. Well, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was in San Francisco today. Yes, she was holding a thank you party for voters. It's her first trip home since she reclaimed the Speaker's gavel last week. In fact, people celebrated Pelosi's achievement and the new majority in the House. The event at Delancey Street Triangle on the Embarcadero featured a cake with the words, Happy Blue Year. Commenting on the budget standoff in Washington, Pelosi said Democrats are in favor of border security, but not a wall. We're fighting the president on the wall, and that is the fight that we have. We all support border security, and we will continue to do so. And, I, and, and what the language is, is very important to us. Pelosi is also trying to tamp down any talk of impeachment for the time being. She said today on CBS Sunday Morning that first the public must see the results of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation.